talk about how to install Power PI Desktop. So we will go to uh, Microsoft.PowerPI.com. This is the website, PowerPI.Microsoft.com. Uh, and we will go to products. So here we can open the product and see we have, these are the products of Power PI. We have Power PI Desktop. Pro Premium Embedded. So for, the, for this course, we are going to use Power PI Desktop, which is the free version. The others are not free, but for us as a start, Power PI Desktop is more than enough. So we go to Power PI Desktop and click Download Free. And uh, it's going to load. Yeah, here it, it will take you to Microsoft uh, Store. Okay, and once he, this open, you will find that I have launched because I have it installed already on my computer. However, you will have to download it. So once you download it, it's very easy to install and you can open it from your start menu. Once you have it, you will, this, how it looks like, you will find this, this is the startup screen. It has some very useful information. On the left hand side, you will have here the most recent projects that uh, you used to use. Uh, and here there are some introduction videos, very useful ones. And here there are some useful information. You can download samples or you have some training videos. Okay. And the most important thing to know in Power PI is that you have to register in order to publish your reports. And to register, uh, Microsoft doesn't allow. Uh, doesn't allow you to use your personal email. So Gmail, Hotmail, MSN, Yahoo cannot be used. So you have to use your business email. For me, I'm using my business email because I'm using Power BI in my organization. However, for you, if you don't want to use your business email, there is some work around, you can search for it online and you can uh, do this work around. But for me, I'm using my business email in order to publish my reports in my uh, organization. So this is very important to know. So this is uh, how it looks like the Power PI. So let's navigate the Power PI. These are uh, the main window of Power PI. I will not go all, uh, through all the features here, just quick navigation. So uh, here in the top side, you will find uh, all the tabs and ribbons. And if you go to home and here is where we manage our uh, database, here where we are going to manage our uh, Power Query. And this is very important. Later we can we'll speak about this. Uh, Power Query is very important in our course. And on the right hand side, you will find the fields, visualization and filters. In the fields, uh, you will find the, all the tables that we are going to have it once we have the database. Here we will have all our tables. And in uh, visualization, these are the visuals that we are going to use in our report. And the filters here, we are going to speak about filters and slicers in a, very, in, in a separate session. Uh, so on the left hand side, we have three main parts. We have report, data, and model. So the report, this is our report here, this white page, and we can add more pages here. And the second part here, this is our data. Here we will have our all our tables and we can see our values and we can also transform it. And here we, 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 are, we are going to manage all the relationship between our tables and values. So this was quick navigation for Power PI and see you next session.